I said this TikTok youth pastor who is in going to heaven. Joe Rogan made it seem like he was holier than holier. As a Christian youth pastor, he dedicated his TikTok to showing respect for women until six different people exposed him for his own secretly terrible history. Oh no. You could see the red flags in early tweets like this one. I am a Christian, and I support LGBTQ, and I support BLM, and I support people of other faiths, and I support a women's right to choose. Oh, the need it. to vocalize his own morality was almost strangely excessive, and his TikTok videos weren't yeah, any like, I'm saying I'm honest, guy. different. He wanted to punch all men who talked about how women dressed, while reminding his female followers that they had total oh, this guy, like, actual control of their body. When he wasn't supporting women, it was instead minorities. It's homophobia, racism, misogyny, you name it, all thinly veiled as a joke, and you're not fooling anybody. Which people found suspicious long before he was exposed. But when this dude is making almost his entire personality about respect women, always be nice to women, respect, 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 it gets a little overboard, to be honest. When questioned about his motive, yeah, you don't have to explain all that. Joe Robe snapped pretentiously. Just imagine being so worried about losing your male privilege that you would call anything that has to do with equality for women anti-men. Believing that when all men are killed, he'd be spared because of his TikToks. And when he did also occasionally- Okay, now that's kind of getting weird. Men. Now I've talked about men getting body shamed, women getting body shamed. The objective was still the same. Try to make himself seem like a person who did no wrong. The caption of his merch was literally be better, which seemed true to him as a church office manager and youth pastor on the weekends. So depending on how long you've been following me, you may or may not know that I'm actually a very religious person. People therefore heavily respected him, even making stan accounts such as Lovely Joe Robe, while comments on his live streams read, I have so much respect for you. You speak for another's and it makes me so happy. Any videos criticizing him were met with thousands of dislikes until people became suspicious. Okay. Yes. of Joe Robe's supposed morality. In late 2020, a TikToker named Gemini Official was exposed for his relationships with multiple young girls. Being in line with Joe Robe's content, people asked him to talk about it, although for whatever reason, Joe Robe avoided the topic. Message Joe Robe saying, hey, this is a problem, can you speak about it? Which is bizarre that it would take you so long to talk about somebody who's grooming children. Joe Robe later explained on Discord that denouncing the actions was simply too obvious. Although having previously claimed the goal of his TikTok was to create a safe space for young people, it seemed odd that Joe Robe didn't want to talk about it. Perhaps he was simply avoiding drama, but I this mean, I don't wasn't know. the only example where Joe Robe defended the topic. Reflected an obvious topic. He'd become friends with a TikToker named The Calvin Brandall, whose videos promoted a similar sentiment to those made by Joe Robe. Well, turns out he'd been doing exactly what he disavowed explaining he thought it was okay because he was TikTok famous. I felt that with TikTok, my ego was super inflated and I felt like I was invincible, I was unstoppable, I couldn't make any mistakes. Despite having photos together on Instagram, Joe Robe avoided the situation. You have no problem calling out problematic men, but it seems like the problematic man is your friend and you're a little quiet. Eventually addressing what had happened with this iconic statement. I'll say it again. If you groom somebody, you are disgusting. The scum of the earth. Joe Robe, however, was doing exactly oh, okay. himself. This was yes, him, somebody that I felt safe around, but I don't feel safe around him anymore because he's a groomer. On one unassuming Wednesday, 17-year-old TikToker DillJ16 uploaded the following video. This video will be about one of the biggest hypocrites I have ever met in my life, Joe Robe. John is a disgusting and terrible hypocrite who abuses his platform by using his clout to groom and prey upon underage boys. He has done this to multiple people, including me. John first followed me whenever I had about 30,000 followers and joined my live stream and asked for my Snapchat, so I gave it to him. After Snapchatting for a few weeks, he asked me if I wanted to get an Airbnb with him on my 18th birthday. Day, which okay, that's just weird. was over three months away. He started to send me links to one bedroom Airbnbs and he offered to purchase me alcohol if I went. And this is him talking about the one bedroom. He knew that I did not want to get the Airbnbs, so he thought if he invited one of my IRL friends, I would want to go. 
That's him asking when he was going to turn 18. And while Joe Rogue was, was at least waiting until their 18th birthday, the group chat they shared wasn't quite so clean. During one of the Zooms with all of my TikTok friends, John thought it would be a good idea to have us all take a BDSM score test and send him our results. Keep in mind, the youngest was 15 years old and the oldest were 19 and there were only two 19 year olds and everybody else was 17 and below. Which had happened just a month before Joe Rogue's 28th <laughs> birthday. Still G added one getting weirder and weirder. more detail before the video finished. I found out that there are multiple people that John has groomed. As a person named Coco then also came forward. He started asking like different questions like what state do you live in and um do your parents let you travel and do you like to travel and do I or and he offered to buy me a room with him. He offered to buy me alcohol. This is the one quote I remember him talking to me. I may be a pastor or I may work for God, but I'm not against kids having fun. I should have realized it right there. Then there was an having fun, huh? Another. I can't this guy's go, another level, huh? go into specific details about what happened between me and Joro because it is quite not safe for work. And another after that. He'd also make promises about getting air oh, so many Airbnbs and meeting up with us. He promised alcohol and hot tubs. Joro's accusers then made a Google Doc listing everything else he'd done. He tried to get blank and blank to create an OnlyFans once he turned 18 and said he'd set it up for him and subscribe also strangely bribing the group to call him hot and locking a girl who was also intoxicated out of zoom for calling him old and refusing to call him hot Papagut talked about the document in this video here after which he'd be messaged a story worse than every other one combined I ran a small fan account for Joe Robe on Instagram he eventually asked for my snapchat he told me no one else had his snapchat and made me promise to not give anyone it or to tell anyone what we talk about. Conversations got really weird and he sent me a lot of dirty pictures, four of which were included to prove he wasn't lying. I was no, no, don't also pictures. 14 at the time. He didn't even bother to ask how old I was or for any form of identification, but he would call me a baby a lot and would try and force me to call him daddy. To make matters worse, John's church profile explained is he on about? outside of his work at St. John, he is a private music teacher with over a dozen students oh, that's actually concerning. and up until recently was the activities chair for the northern sky district of the boy scouts of america but wait until you hear why he left his previous job someone messaged one of the accusers i wanted to reach out because i'm on staff at the church he used to work at he was removed from staff over two years ago and he was really upset with our church and strict protocols for working with youth so he left to go to another church. We're currently in the process of contacting the other church and places he's at as well as local authorities. Joe Rob's LinkedIn partially confirms the story's legit as it shows he previously worked in the very same church as the lady who told the anecdote. Unsurprisingly, people demanded Joe Rob also lose his new job. St. John Lutheran Church, you have some explaining to do. With Papa Gut even calling the church directly. This is the church that he works at. I know this because I called the church that he works at and I asked him if he works there. They said yes. I told them that they were very serious, incredible allegations. They immediately hung up after they said, oh, thank you. Despite hanging up the phone, the church quickly deleted Joe Rogue from their website before I Speak 1906 <laughs> extracted an unofficial statement. The pastor reached out and he wants to remain anonymous. However, the bishop is aware and he has been terminated and authorities have been contacted and that's about all that we have. But the bigger question was, how did Joe Rogue himself respond? Did he make a self-aimed TikTok about his own heinous actions? Well, no. Yeah, he delete his TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, even his LinkedIn, and hasn't been heard from since. His refusal to address the two previous situations suddenly all made sense, while others were less surprised. The accusation can't be real. A white knight influencer being secretly an awful person is unheard of. Not even surprised. It's always- Why? Why does it- Anything to do with white? These types of men that end up being predators, but no one was less surprised than one of Joe Robe's former friends. As someone who personally knows John Bell and lived with him at university for a year, I can assure you that he's not the good guy here and that these accusations line up with his past behavior. The dude was all knowing, manipulative, homophobic, and tried to give off this ultropious Christian facade. Nothing about his online presence was genuine. Karma is taking a toll on him, and I'm 
glad he's getting thrown off the internet. Before any of this happened, Vegan Teacher had stated, John Robert Bell, you're going straight to hell. And it turns out her song hit the nail on the head. Okay, the, where is it? Vegan Teacher come from? 